Captain Broccoli, why do we need Roman numerals at all? Why can't we just call a B-flat major triad, a B-flat major triad? That is a good question. Roman numerals help identify basic chord functions used in all keys. I do not understand. For example, the chord built on the first degree of the scale is also called the tonic chord. The tonic has a special function as the home base of the key. The tonic chord in the key of B-flat major is a B-flat major triad. What a coincidence! Not really. That is actually why the key is called B-flat major. In the key of F major however, a B-flat major triad occurs on the fourth scale degree. Then it is called the subdominant chord and has a different function. Good. So the tonic and the subdominant are the same? No. The point is that the same chord can have different functions depending on the overall key. It is like each chord is an actor who can play a different role in various keys. But, if the one chord in the key of B flat, and the four chord in the key of F major, are the same triad, they will act the same, won't they? They will, sound identical, because they have the same tones, but they will be used in different ways in harmonic progressions. Put another way, the tonic triads in each key, like B flat major and F major, sound different, because they have different pitches in them, but they act very similar. Oh. It is just like me, and my roommate. I'm not really following you, and it is, my roommate, and I. No, it is my roommate. Me and Panda Face wear the same dress size. Panda Face and I. You wear dresses too. No, I was trying to correct your grammar. Panda Face, and, me, wear the same dress size. Although actually my waist is more slender than hers. She has to really suck wind, to get her utility belt on. You are definitely losing me now. Sometimes we get bored, and trade superhero costumes. I go out dressed like Panda Face, and she goes out dressed like me. When people see us, she pushes them over, and I pretend to eat bamboo. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is actually right. That is exactly like a chord assuming different diatonic functions. When a B-flat major triad becomes a subdominant, it has to act like the four chord. Yes. I am very clever. I am a superhero. Are there other functions besides the tonic, subdominant and the leaderboard? Leading tone. Yes, the triad on the fifth scale degree is the dominant. This is exciting. I have heard of the dominant seven. Seventh. The dominant seven were very tough, even though they were not superheroes. Although I think the original seven seals were supposed to be even tougher, but I don't speak Japanese, and don't get why seals would use swords. I'm glad you are excited, although I'm pretty sure you are getting the dominant seventh chord confused with some movies. Yes. The dominant seventh. That is exactly what I said. No you didn't. Captain Broccoli, why did you stop talking about chord functions? I didn't, you, oh never mind. So, halfway between the tonic and the dominant is the mediant, the three chord. It is called the mediant, because it is in the middle. In the middle of what? I just told you, in the middle between the tonic and dominant. Then, the supertonic is. I want to be the supertonic. I am a superhero. It the supertonic a minor triad? I like minor triads, because they make me look good. Actually, yes. The supertonic is a minor triad. Or at least it is in a major key. It starts on the second scale degree. Yes. That is what I want to be. No, wait. I want to be the sixth chord. I want to be a super dominatrix. It is not, dominatrix, and there is no super dominant either. There should, be. What do you call the triad, that is built on the step above the dominant? It is called the submediant. That's stupid. The submediant should be the name for the two chord. Why? It is a step below the mediant, just like the subdominant is a step below the dominant. That would, free up the six chord to be the super dominant, and we can use the Roman numeral Z for it. Ah, uh, as I have explained before, there is no Roman numeral Z. However, I think I see the problem. The subdominant is not called that because it is below the dominant. Yes it is. No. Please listen to me. The subdominant is like the mirror image of the dominant. It is a fifth below the tonic. It is the underdominant. Like underdog, and undergarment guy. They should really work together more often as a team. Like me, and you. No, not like them. And undergarment guy is not a superhero. More importantly, we are not a team. I would prefer that you not tell people that you know me. Anyway, 
halfway between the tonic and the underdominant, is the sixth scale degree, the undermiddle, the submediant. That is very boring. I think we need more super chords. I am a superhero. Yes, I'm aware of that. For now, I will be the super tonic, because it is powerful and thin, like me. You don't really get to be a chord. It is a musical sound. I am very excited about this. I am minor just like the mediant and submediant. The tonic, dominant, and subdominant are all major triads. Together with our diminutive leader, we will form the diatonic seven, a magnificent band of seven superheroes pushing over Roman imperialists. Thank you Captain Broccoli. Farewell. Whatever works for you.